the Atlanta Falcons have announced that they've interviewed one Bill Belichick for their open head coach vacancy. It's the first team to have met with Belichick. He's expected to garner more interest in the weeks ahead. Let's roll. Presented by Town Fair Tire. And uh, Ted Johnson, if you look at the developments tonight, uh, are Belichick, you know, I know we have that, that uh, Falcons news, but if you look at the mm -hmm. Cowboys, is that the sexy one? Is that the one? It seems to be a match made in heaven. Come on, my man. You know, you know the answer to that. Of a course, Texas it is. guy. You're a Texas guy. Oh, you know? It would be, it would be uh, fantastic for him to go there. Are you kidding me? I think it would, and I think it, it would uh, have a better chance of working out than maybe what people think. I, I just feel like maybe both bar, both parties uh, at this time in their their lives and in their careers, you know, that being Jerry Jones, Bill Belichick, uh, are probably, you know, they, they they just want to win, and they and they want to they want to go win Super Bowls and they want to win a bunch of games. And so to me, they can maybe put their differences aside in the way. They've done things for years uh, for the good of trying to win. I, so, I, to me, that would be my, my yeah. choice for him to go there. Ready-made team, ready to go. I want to get to Atlanta in a second. But I think Belichick's problems with the Cowboys would be on the roster. I think he'd have a problem paying Dak Prescott what he's going to have to pay Dak Prescott or have a top-loaded roster. Micah Parsons, C.D. Lamb. Dak Prescott, the money that they would make. That, I think, would... Parsons, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, I, I, I thought I said... My, uh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Michael Parsons. So he, you know, I think that's a bigger impediment than Jerry. As obnoxious as Jerry is and as antithetical as the way Jerry operates, you know, to Bill's worldview, I bet Bill half respects it or at least would say, well, you know what? At least Jerry Jones owns it. My previous owners were meddling. They were egotistical. They're as egotistical as anyone, but they didn't say anything. They always put it, you know, uh, you know, Jerry Jones is the GM. The Crafts, oh, Bill makes all the decisions. Yeah. Bill makes all the decisions. We give them all the money we want. Bill makes all the decisions. And meanwhile, they don't say anything. They're not public. Where Jerry Jones meddles, and he owns it. Yep, hey. I run the team. I make the decisions, and I'll let you know it, and I'll take questions now. So at least Jerry Jones is upfront about what he is. Well, I think uh, Bill's probably sick of the crafts. Like, probably thinks they're phonies. Well, speaking of saying anything, if you're wondering if Belichick would actually want to work for Jerry Jones, here he is back in October talking about the respect he has for the Cowboys organization. Check this out. I mean, I have a ton of respect for uh, Jerry and Steven and the way they run the organization down there. I mean, they've had... Decades of success, um, you know, they were really the team of the 90s, you know, with Jimmy and then, um, you know, they've been good, they've been competitive every year. I mean, obviously more than competitive and they show up every week, every year and pretty good. So I have a ton of respect for them. Definitely watch what they do and how they do it and, you know, try to learn from it. I feel like I should get a room. I shouldn't be here. I, sh I shouldn't be watching this. Okay. They show up every week. Aren't they cl the classic yes. example of a team that doesn't show up? Yes. Every, you know, which is when you need them to, they don't show up. Decades of success. Yeah. You know, Tom Brady has more playoff wins with the Buccaneers in three years than the uh, Cowboys have had since they won their last Super Bowl in 30 and, years. And how about the stat? What, four? Yeah, the, exactly, four. Wow. They're the, the stat. They've had the only team to have three straight 12-win seasons and not appear in a conference championship game. They haven't been in a conference championship this century. So, yeah, they are the team of the 90s. He got that right. The early 90s. <laughs> the team of the early 90s. But where do you think he was trying to go there? And do you think that would be a match, though, just from the structure? From the structure of, you know, Jerry Jones is the owner and the GM and, you know, Belichick could coach the team. Do you think that would work for Jerry Zigo and for Bill Zigo? I think he could work right now. I think he could work at 72 years old. I don't think he could have worked for Bill at 62 years old, but yeah. I think he could have worked at 72 years. I, I could maybe... Uh, I see that, see that working. And part of that, you know, I, no, you know, here's what you got to understand about Bill too. When he's saying that stuff, when he's throwing all those that bouquet of flowers, pouring that perfume all over the Jerry Joneses, he's he, sometimes I don't know if he really means it. He just wants to give them a compliment, and so that they know it. And so he just wants to back those, whether he believes what he's saying or not. I just think he likes to support Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys, well, even though he probably doesn't believe half okay. the stuff he's saying. It also tweaks the crafts, you know, Correct. that Robert is jealous of Jerry Joneses. Uh, enshrinement in the Hall of Fame. Kraft wonders why Jerry Jones is in, and he's not. I think there's a rivalry between I wonder what the, the, answer is, by the, the way. Jones family. Well, it's a side topic. Whatever. Right. All, all, all Bill cares about is that it bothers Robert. So, yeah, he's going to talk up Jerry Jones, and boy, that would add to it as well, because he knows, and Wickersham wrote this, it would go right up Robert's ass if he went and won with Jerry oh. Jones. Let's get to Atlanta just, yeah. just real quick. Yeah. I'm, I'm fascinated by Bill Belichick interviewing. Do you think he interview like, he doesn't have a resume, does he? I mean, like, for example, <laughs> do you have a resume, Mike? 
I want, I'm, I'm not Bill Belichick. No, yeah, no, I got no. one. Yeah, I got do one. Do you? I got one, yeah. I got is it refreshed? Like, is it ready yeah, to go? Ready? <laughs> ready? Got to be ready. No, no, I mean, do you? Like, yeah, I, I do. Mean, do you? Yeah. Do you? I've, I've been in the real world for about 15 years now, and I've never used a resume. Yeah. I'm like, 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 asking for a resume. Like, I, I, I don't know what to he do. He doesn't need one. Yeah, you know, Ted Johnson doesn't need one. He just show up, you know, just flash know the rings. That. I got three rings. What's up? What, what do you want to know? What do you want? You, you want to talk to me about football? You know, like. But don't you think, but Bill, that's your, to your point. Yeah, though, but he, like Bill's above a resume. He's above an interview. When's the last time he interviewed? I don't think he interviewed for the Jets. Obviously, he was handed that job. He didn't really interview up here. He didn't nope. interview for nope. the Patriots, right? Okay, so, I mean, was the last Cleveland. interview, I mean, was it Cleveland in 1991? It probably was. Probably, probably with Can Art you Modell. imagine that man in time. an interview? Like, does that make, like, does that compute to anyone where he's got to, I don't know, grovel for a job or sell himself? Oh, like, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. I don't anymore. think it would be selling himself. I think his interview, the interview with Bill Belichick would kind of be like some of these production meetings you hear about with the broadcast crew. And it's like, oh, we talked to Bill Belichick last year, last night, and he wowed us with stories about the 80s Giants. And he, he told us about Lawrence Taylor and, and, and Tom Brady. And he just, his history of the game is almost like the NFL 100. Th- those okay, types but, of interviews. But I mean, that wouldn't be my interview. If but, I were the owner, I'd want to know, Bill, what are you going to do for our team? But, but see, he would do you know, that, what's too. Your plan? What's your plan oh, at quarterback? Wow. What's your plan with our defense? He would, wow. he would wow Arthur Blank oh, yeah. by saying, because what he does, he's still good at. Now, it's just, it, this is what it comes down to. Do you believe him? Mm-hmm. Because he's still good at looking at the team, diagnosing it. Look, the Falcons play in a really weak division. I mean, the Buccaneers are going to win tonight uh, against the Eagles. They won that division. The Falcons aren't that far off from the Buccaneers. They play against the Saints. They play against the Panthers. He could probably talk some good stuff to Arthur Blank and say, I can have you back in the playoffs in a year or two. My guess is he knows exactly what to say. In exactly. Year. To an Arthur Blank, he knows what to say, what, he, to what, off. what he needs to hear yep. at this time. You know, my guess is he, he walks in there with a ton of confidence, as he should, and probably has all the answers. And that probably impresses the hell out of Arthur Blank. That's my feeling in the tone and tenor in which Bill Belichick probably approached approach this interview, Mike. But you hate this, Mike. You hate uh, Bill Belichick going to the Falcons. Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, you it, know, is a bum- it is a bummer. I said this before. Like, Atlanta's there to ignore. Like, the, we, the only, you know, yin and yang, top and bottom, you, got, you can't have one without the other. The, Atlanta's there so we can be passionate about the teams we're passionate about and not care about Atla- Atlanta's there so we can ignore them. But I said you know, that, this. That's their sole purpose, is for us to not care about them. <laughs> but I said and he's going to go there. And again, how many nothing games the division right. is such a snooze? I said the same thing about Tom Brady with the creamsicle uniforms. Like, before he went to, Atlanta, uh, before he went to Tampa Bay, I said, like, the last place I can imagine Tom Brady going is to Tampa with those goofy throwback uniforms. I can't imagine. And it was all yeah, right. How Tom much better Brady would it have been if big, he went to San Francisco? But it was great for them. And he revived their franchise. I don't franchise. care about them. I care about me. But it was it, like, it would have been so it. much better if he went to San Francisco I, or T.Y. I, it, it would have, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, Brady to, to, to uh, Mike Evans and, you know, watching Gronk come back and, you know, seeing Tampa actually be relevant. They love him down there. They think he's like, they're going to retire his number. 